can, can, can you tell us what that road been like for you to get to this point and just say 10 years ago, did you believe this was, would be possible today? Uh, uh, yes, sir. I can say I've always uh, thought it'd be possible, but uh, just, just to see it come in full circle, it just I feel like really amazing. Uh, honestly, and then being from Genesis, Louisiana, town of uh, 10,000, very small town. So it's just kind of crazy I'm here in Jacksonville, but I'm just really excited, really can't wait. And uh, I just thank God for my journey. It couldn't have ended in a better way. Hey, Travis, congratulations. Um, I'm curious, what were your first impressions of Trevor when he arrived on campus? And do you have a couple favorite moments of playing with him, plays he made that, that were spectacular in your eyes? Uh, well, when Trev uh, arrived on campus, he was just about business since day one. Uh, Trev always had the persona about him that he's just ready to go. Uh, he al always been cool, calm, and collected. So uh, he was a freshman, but he was uh, a sophomore, really. Like, when he came in, he just you just knew what you was getting from Trevor day in and day out. And I can honestly say my, my favorite play that I've seen Trev, uh, and I, I've seen many, uh, but it's probably the Georgia Tech game. Uh, he just floats the ball up. And I think Amari may be running full speed, and he don't have to break stride or anything and just catch the ball and just score. So uh, I've seen that a million times with Trev. But uh, you get you get kind of caught in a moment because uh, I'm right there next to him, and he's the first pick uh, to draft. So it's just kind of crazy. And I'm just thankful that uh, I got to be on this journey and we get to continue our journey together. Hey, Travis, congratulations. Um, I'm just wondering, the NFL is going to be an adjustment for you regardless of where you had ended up. But the fact that you ended up here with Trevor as the quarterback, how much more of a comfort is that for you? And does it provide you with confidence that you can make more plays just because you have such a long association with the quarterback? Uh, I mean, I feel like it, it provides you with a sense of normalcy uh, having Trev here. I just been here in the past three years, but uh, I feel as if uh, if I was with or without Trev, I would be I would be making plays. Uh, that's kind of what uh, we're here to do, and I'm just thankful that I have Trev and uh, we're on the same team. We ain't got to fight against each other. <laughs> Urban Dabo Sweeney has has come out uh, a couple times, and his comp for Travis is is Walter Payton. That's pretty high praise. <laughs> what did he tell you, kind of in maybe your? private conversations. Obviously, you watch a lot of tape of him, but maybe anything that he said to you that kind of opened your eyes that, of him being around Travis every day. Well, I've known both these guys for a long time, and maybe not personally, but uh, as a, someone involved in college football and recruiting and, and uh, I admired his play. Uh, Dabo and I go way, way back. So, you know, we've had some very good conversations about both Trevor and, and Travis, but uh, it was really nothing I wasn't aware of. You know, because I, you know, I, I saw firsthand. You know, I saw, I saw the violence that he plays with. That you know, that the speed and, and this is a speed wins. You know, that's we we were a team that really struggled with big play hits last year, and the, you know, especially in the NFL, but the opportunity to sustain 10, 12, 13 play drives. You know, the percentage say that doesn't happen. So you need some hits, and we didn't have it. And and. Uh, Travis has got that gift. He's got the gift of uh, that, that, that guy touches the ball, there's a chance it's going. And that, that's what the biggest thing I looked at. And then obviously the high quality, you know, I, I've heard all, I look forward to meeting with his family. Uh, that's always very important to me, extremely high quality family and, and uh, someone that's going to be here grinding. You know, that's, that's real important to this organization as well. Hi. Yeah, Travis, can you talk a little bit about the big play stuff that, that has to happen? Uh, excuse me, can you... Uh, uh, can you just talk about I mean, how they're going to count on you to make those big plays and how that offense hasn't had it and needs it? Uh, well, I, I just want to piggyback off what Trev said, just uh, continue to be ourselves. Uh, I feel like we, uh, our whole career has been making big plays, and that's how we got here at this point. So uh, no need to change who you are, who you have been. Uh, just got to get in the weight room, get, get, get uh, the film study, uh, learn to play with stuff like that. So I feel as if uh, we can continue to take care of things that we've been taking care of, the the field would take care of itself, and there would be plenty of big plays around here. Hey, Travis, back here. Sorry, we're throwing you all over the place, too. Uh, I understand you ran the wing T in high school, and part of the reason you came back for your senior year was to develop into a pass-catching running back. Can you just elaborate on how important that was for you and evaluate how you did this final year? Uh, it, it was very important, uh, especially where the um, position is headed. Uh, for running backs, uh, you want to be a a third, uh, uh, every down back, uh, three down back, be, be out there on third down. 
Uh, so you can get a little dump off that turn to 10, 20 yard gains. And now I feel as if uh, uh, my transition, it, it just really was amazing to have Trev. Uh, he's here again. So uh, we kind of just worked on that every day after practice. I got on a jug machine, just really, just really like uh, we have owned it. Uh, we owned it. We owned it. Uh, we wanted it to be better. So uh, we, we, got, we got in there and just worked after sure. practice. And uh, it is, you see it happen. Quick learner right here. <laughs> Hey, Urban, I'm just curious, obviously speed winning has been your thing from day one back at Florida, even before. How hard is that, do you think that is, or how much more of a challenge is that to build a team that's faster than everybody else at the NFL level? We've seen Kansas City do it in recent years, but it doesn't happen overnight or over, you know, even recent years. Oh, it's so hard. Everybody's trying. That's not a secret. And uh, I'm... I, I, see, I know we have another day and a half of drafting, but uh, I kind of like where we're at. We have some juice on this on this field now, and, and uh, I think we have an opportunity to get faster coming up here. But uh, it's got to be the right kind of speed. It's got to be efficient speed. It's got to be speed that uh, you know I've played with. I've had fast guys that aren't very good players, and this guy checked all the boxes as far as that. He's uh, and the other thing about offensive football that's. Uh, you know, it's a matchup game too, and that's where you look for a player that has a little bit of hybrid or can do a couple things. And he's uh, Travis is very appealing to when when you can move him out there, and you figure you know the fourth best cover guy is going to cover a guy like this. And he's got a long way to go uh, in certain areas, but he is really talented. And Clemson did a really good job with him to this point. Hey Travis, uh, you said yesterday that you were hoping Jacksonville would take you. Uh, what was it about Jacksonville that made you feel that way? Uh, well, I knew Trevor was coming here. Uh, so, yeah. uh, I mean, you, you'd be crazy not to want to play with Trevor Lawrence. Uh, so I uh, definitely want to be with Trev. I uh, feel as if, I, like I said earlier, it brings me that sense of normalcy. Uh, just been with him these past three years. Uh, I feel like I just can't wait to do great things here. Can you just talk about how much uh, chemistry you guys built over the past three years? Uh, we built a lot of chemistry, uh, especially the, the past two years. Uh, I feel like my, my, uh, his freshman year uh, wasn't that much of a receiving threat than uh, – his sophomore, junior year, we just kind of stayed after practice, just kept working, kept working, kept working. And uh, you just see it just kind of pays off. You see it on the field now. Uh, he's throwing me darts, just things he probably wouldn't do to me his freshman year. Now he's got the confidence in me and uh, trusting in me. So I'm uh, just grateful. Thank you.